This is John Pluta down here in Camilla, Georgia. I'm checking a few hives out. This is September. You can see all the goldenrod. It's just fixing to bloom. It's in full bloom. I'm going to check a few other small hot beetle traps today. The bees are flying good. We have some cotton fields right behind me. On these particular hives here, we just put the uh, small hot beetle trap in the entrance. It's this little black thing here. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna open it up here and see what we got. Got one beetle crawling out already. We use a I use a bait inside. You can you cut up the uh, check my kuma strips. I would say this one here has done well. It's so full the beetles can't. No more beetles can actually even get in. They have eaten just about all my bait. The gnats are really bad today. That's about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's about 75 dead beetles for the week. I'm going to go ahead and re refill it while I'm here. What I do, I just shoot a little bit in each corner. And then on the ins inside of these traps that we sell, these traps are really cost effective. We have them for three dollars on just a couple large quantities, two fifty to two dollars. This is what I do. Basically, this little trap here, it has four openings. The top goes down. This can, this can either fit on top of the, uh, uh, on, on the top of your hive. There's so many beetles that they're even stuck to the bottom. I kind of prefer putting them in the entrance also, but on really badly infested hives, I do both. Just slides right in the front. I, I kind of put to the side, just inside so the weather doesn't hit it, so I can grab it back again. This is definitely what I like to see. Lots of dead beetles. I'm going to bait up another one for the hive next to it. This little square here in the center this is where you would cut about a one inch piece of checkmite strip. The kumafos is what the uh, beetles would get killed by. Some people will also put boric acid in here, but I really don't like to do that. It's rather messy. These far and away outperform the oil traps that you put inside the hives. They're a whole lot less messy. Also, on the old sign boards that we used to use, the bees would seal up the ends. These these holes here, for some reason, the bees don't seal them up too good or too quickly. When they and if they do, though, they're much much easier to clean. Let's see if I keep them getting stung again. Just right in the entrance. That's about it. I've got another one over here I'm fixing to do. 
Whoa. I think we've got some honey coming in also. In fact, right here, here, this particular hive is where I've got the... In fact, this would be a good example. Here, here, here's a hive, here's some hive beetles running right here. This is our old, this is our old uh, trap I used to use in the old days. This is our newer one here that, that I put on, on the top of the hive. Wasn't planning on going in this hive. We're getting, getting a little frisky here. We're in the shade here. We have about a 1,200 acre cotton field right next to me here that the uh, bees are working very well. Yep, we got some, got some honey coming. Not capped over yet. I'm gonna do this here. So another beetle trap I'm gonna show quick, I hope. Oops, oh man. Alright. We'll go back over here again too. This one here is so full. Just dead beetles everywhere. Here you, here, here you can see the, the bees have actually propolized uh, the, the trap shut right here on three sides. They have sealed it shut. There's so many beetles that they're actually stuck to the propolis. These are all dead beetles. And then just open the, open the trap back up. There's the propolis right here. But as you can see, this is definitely productive beetle killing. This is one of our old style traps that just doesn't work. It's working a little bit, but nowhere, nowhere, you know, here's, here, here's a difference. We had about five or six compared to, uh, this one actually has more, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. This about 85 to 90 dead beetles right here. These are all fairly good sized hives. Three deep brood chambers, two honey supers. Uh, time here, but uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill this trap here back up real fast and get out of here before they make me put my veil on. I'm going to discontinue the old style in this particular hive. I'm going to place it right up here. Actually, I'm going to put it right where I had the old one because it worked real well right there. The beetles kind of uh, had their own spots. And what I do on this here, these little traps, they're designed that they sit on, on top of your frames so the beetles can come on, on either side. And then all these dead beetles, I'm fixing to just toss them off and just close the top back up. I'd made up an extra one on a hive that they has this many. I'm going to go ahead and put another trap. Well, this one will collapse, but uh, I'll do this on another one. But that's it. But try, try some of these new traps. We have them here, or um, 
uh, they're, they're really effective. On the website, georgiabees.com or georgiabees.blogspot.com, we have mail order on the traps. Good luck to you and good beekeeping. John Pluta.